thank you very much. Uh, it's my great pleasure to give a plenary talk. It's my great pleasure to give a plenary talk of this conference. I thank the organizers for the invitation and the opportunity. And I also thank the, uh, the I also thank the staff for their hospitality. <coughs> In this talk, I will, I will give a brief survey of the theory of white harmonic bundles and mixed twisted images and I will describe some applications to related subjects in mathematical physics. So, <coughs> ah, sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. So, <coughs> let, let us start. <laughs> so let me begin with, what is harmonic bundle? <coughs> harmonic harmonic bundle is some object on complex manifolds. And uh, very briefly, it is harmonic bundle is a Higgs bundle with fully harmonic metric. Or equivalently, it is a flat bundle with a fully harmonic metric. <coughs> Higgs bundle is a vector bundle of complex manifold with Higgs field, which is holomorphic section of n e times omega 1 uh, full square is 0. Uh, n of is a value to holomorphic one form full square is 0. And flat bundle is vector bundle with a flat connection. And we have some nonlinear partial differential equation for matrix of the vector bundle associated to the flat connection or the Higgs field. And solutions are called pure harmonic metric. So in this sense, uh, harmonic bundle can be regarded as Luckily, can be regarded as a solution of some nonlinear partial differential equation. And uh, the simplest examples are the harmonic bundles associated to harmonic functions. I mean, for any harmonic function, its differential is the Higgs field of the structure shift. And uh, the trivial metric is the pre harmonic metric of this Higgs bundle. So they gave the simplest example of harmonic bundles. And another more, more non-trivial and more interesting example given by polarized variation of Hoche structures. Polarized variation, polarized variation of Hoche structure is one of the most fundamental objects in contemporary mathematics. And uh, for example, they appear as a Gaussian connection of a smooth family of projective manifold. And the uh, polarized variation of the structure is a flat, flat vector bundle with real structure with filtration satisfying the grid transversality and uh, some similar flat pairing which is called polarization. And the polarization itself does not give a free harmonic metric. But the uh, <coughs> filtration and flat pairing induces some positive definite metric which is a pretty hand in this in our situation. But anyway, polarized variation of structure is one of the most, exa most important exa most, exa most important class of harmonic bundles. And as I will explain, uh, there are a lot of harmonic bundles, but in general, it is not easy to describe them. So let me mention some historical things. <coughs> One of the origin of the study of harmonic bundles goes back to the discovery of Higgs equation and the dimensional reduction of instantons. Instantons are vector bundles of four-dimensional real four space with metric and with unitary connection satisfying some nonlinear partial differential equation called the ASD equation. And uh, it is very important in it is very important in both mathematics and physics. And uh, <coughs> we decompose alpha into the product of CZ and CW. Uh, here Z and W are just uh, standard coordinates, and I add them just uh, for distinction of components. And uh, we consider the natural action of CZ on R4 by the translation. Then, Hitchens up the equivalence of CV equivalent instantons 
of series and CW and public bundles on CW. Namely, suppose we are given CW equality standards of series and CW, then by using the series equivalence, we obtain the vector bundle of CW with metric and uh, inside connection and Higgs field. And the Higgs of that, the ASD equation is transformed to the Higgs equation, uh, which, is a, which is the equation for how many bundles in the one dimensional case. And he obtained he, he this by the two correspondence. And the proof of this correspondence itself is not difficult. We can check it by direct computation. But his observation is very important. And uh, <coughs> moreover, he observed the equation makes sense for Higgs bundles on any general Riemann surfaces. So he studied the uh, Higgs equation for on compact Riemann surfaces. And uh, <coughs> a dual form and Higgs obtained at the start of the equivalence of irreducible harmonic bundles and irreducible factor bundles and stable Higgs bundles of degree zero on any compact Riemann surfaces. Uh, by definition, harmonic bundle has the underlying flat bundles and uh, the underlying Higgs bundles. But for the converse, we need to construct harmonic bundle from Higgs bundles, we have to solve some nonlinear partial differential equation. And it is very difficult. And uh, indeed, it is uh, impossible in general. But the dual form and heat is observed under some categorical or algebraic assumptions, we can find essentially unique solutions. And this result is a version of so-called quasi chain correspondence relating differential geometric objects and algebra geometric objects, which appeared already appeared in the talk of Professor Mabuti yesterday in the geometry session. And uh, it is very deep and useful. And uh, by using this correspondence, Hitchin studied the modular spaces of flat bundles and Higgs bundles on compact Riemann surfaces. And his deep study has been influential in surprisingly various fields of mathematics, as you know. <coughs> And uh, it is natural to study the higher dimensional case, which was accomplished by Kevin Collett and Carlos Simpson. Namely, they established the correspondence of irreducible harmonic bundles and irreducible flat bundles and stable Higgs bundles with trivial chunk classes on any complex project manifold. And precisely, the correspondence of Higgs harmonic bundles and flat bundles is due to correct, and the correspondence of harmonic bundles and Higgs bundles is due to uh, Simpson. And let me mention they were motivated by their own interests. Correct studied uh, harmonic metrics for flat bundles on Riemannian manifolds. Harmonic metric is a twisted version of how it maps from Riemannian manifolds to the symmetric, symmetric space of Hamish matrix. And uh, <coughs> he, he established a Hamish bundle, sorry, he, he established a flat bundle on compact Riemann, Riemannian manifold has a Hamish metric, we found on if it is semi simple. Semi simple means the direct sum of irreducible flat bundles. It is very interesting because semi simplicity is not a categorical property. And the distance of Hamlet metric is quite a differential geometric property. So such equivalence is very interesting. And moreover, he developed a series of Bokona type technique for his Hamlet metrics. And he observed if the best, best space is compact scalar manifold, any Hamlet metric is automatically pre Hamlet metric. So in this way, uh, he obtained, uh, he, he arrived at the equivalence of irreducible harmonic bundles and irreducible flat bundles. And Simpson was motivated by a study of polarized variation of the structure. As I mentioned, polarized variation of the structure appears naturally 
uh, the Gauss manipulation of a family of smooth polyet manifolds. But he, how, he, he found a differential geometric construction of polarized duration host structure on any, any projective manifolds from Higgs bundles satisfying some homogeneity conditions and stability conditions. It is very it is amazing. And uh, as an intermediate step, he established the equivalence of irreducible Hamilton bundles and stable Higgs bundles with trivial chunk classes. And uh, <coughs> by using these correspondences, as Carl on the Fred found very interesting applications in the study of the topology of complex project manifolds. Then, <coughs> after, the, after the study of uh, how big bundles on project manifolds due to Colette and Simpson and other people, I studied a how big bundle with singularity. I mean, we are interested in how big bundles given on the complement of a hypersurface. And uh, the hypersurface is regarded as a singular set of the harmonic bundle. And it is important to study such objects to understand harmonic bundles on quasi projective manifold or pre harmonic metrics for uh, melomonic flat bundles. And uh, the results for <coughs> harmonic bundles with singularities were sufficiently used in the study of pure and mixed twisted D modules. <coughs> which are homework D modules is some additional structure. And we obtain some nice application in the theory of algebraic homework D modules. And these were rather old stories. And more recently, I'm interested in applications of the study results in the wide hub bundles to some related subjects in mathematical physics, such as two-dimensional total equations and uh, instantons. For two-dimensional equation, we can obtain a classification of real value solutions as a consequence of Cauchy-Cauchy chain correspondence. And we can also obtain a criterion for the existence of integral structure of some memory flat bundles associated to the solutions of two equations. And for instantons, uh, we can obtain some significant refinement of the construction of numb transforms. So I will, in the rest of my talk, I will explain, I will, we, we will discuss these topics. So <coughs> let me give you a brief survey of the theory of how many bundles with similarity. So uh, first of all, I would like to give you the precise definition of how many bundles. So we consider fixed boundary with metric. Then we have chunk connection which is a unitary, unique unitary connection whose uh, zero part is equal to the del, uh, homic structure. And we also have the adjoint of theta. Then <coughs> the fixed bundle with the metric is called the Hawick bundle. If a connection contains the sum of these operators, it's flat. And in that case, the metric is called the free harmonic metric. So this is the definition of harmonic bundle as a Higgs, free Higgs bundle with a free harmonic metric. And we also have the definition as a flat bundle with a free harmonic metric. So suppose we are given a flat bundle with a metric. Then we have the decomposition of this flat connection into four operators. Here, uh, del y h plus del y h is the unitary connection and uh, the sum of theta h double and theta h is a self adjoint protection of n the tensor omega 1. And uh, this guy and this guy are the one types, and uh, this guy and this guy are one type. And then the flat bundle with the metric is called the Hawick bundle if uh, the vector bundle E with the operator del y h and theta h is a Higgs bundle. This is the definition of Hawick bundle. Uh, <coughs> as a, a flat bundle with a free, free hand metric. And of course, these two definitions gave equivalent options. And uh, we, are interested, we are interested in how many bundles given the complement of a hypersurface. 
and、uh, we have to, we need to impose some reasonable conditions on the behavior of harmonic bundles around the singularity. And we have two conditions,、uh, wildness and、uh, more general wildness. And I'd like to explain them in the one dimensional case for simplicity. So we consider a harmonic bundle on the functional disk. I mean, we set X as a disk and D is a just point. Then the Higgs field is expressed as a product of holomorphic endomorphism and d v over z. Then <coughs> we call the, the characteristic polynomial of this endomorphism. Then the coefficients are holomorphic functions on the punk cell disk. Then the Hamlet boundary is called k if these coefficients are holomorphic on the disk. And、uh, it is called wild if the coefficients are meromorphic. So, in other words,、uh, the Hamlet band is called k if the eigenvalues of the Higgs field is at worst logarithmic. And、uh, it, is called, uh, it is called wild if、uh, the, the eigenvalues of theta is at worst meromorphic. This is the definition of k and wildness in the one dimension case. And then in the high dimensional case, the definition can be given essentially in the same way, but it is more involved. <coughs> it is described in terms of the spectral variety, which is the support of the coherent sheaf on the cotangent bundle induced by the Higgs bundle. I don't explain the detail, but it is given like this. <coughs> And let me mention. Uh, this definition is given in the case x is smooth and b is normal crossing hypothesis. But uh, uh, by using the, sta the standard argument using a h u m a n calculation of singularity, we can define the notion of t e n i s and wideness in the case x is singular and b is not necessarily, hypothesis, not, not necessarily normal crossing. And、uh, I'd like I, I to mention. Uh, to, to, study more de to study the detailed property of the b o l y h a n d l e s we have to eliminate some very bad singularities by, by taking the pullback by projective v i r u s morphisms. But I don't care such a detail here. <coughs> okay, so anyway, we'd like to understand the behavior of w i l d h a n d l e n d l e s around the singularity very closely. And the first step is. To extend a h a l f b o u n d on the, the component of the hypersurface to some meromorphic object on the whole space. And,、uh, <coughs> so, and uh, let me mention for any complex number lambda, we have the lambda flat, lambda, lambda flat bundle associated to h a r m o n i c bundle. I mean, if we give a h a r m o n i c bundle, then <coughs> the river t r a c k down the theta dagger. Is the whole chromic structure of this vector band. And it is also equipped with the whole,、uh, differential operator, given like this. The one part is equal to the chromic structure, and one other part is given like this. Then, <coughs> this guy satisfies some, non, some twisted to lightning rule and the flatness conditions. So, this guy is called lambda, flat lambda connections. So, anyway, so starting from wide h a r m o n i c bundle on x minus d, we obtain <coughs> lambda flat bundle on x minus d. And then the first, first task is to extend this,、uh, this uh, lambda flat bundle on x minus d to some meromorphic mer 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 lambda connection on x. And、uh, moreover,、uh, we can show. Uh, the extended object is equipped to meet the nice parabolic structure. I mean, parabolic structure is、uh, including filtration by OX, sub, OX coherent submodules, and、uh, it describes the growth order of the metric. And、uh, this, this theorem、uh, is maybe a little bit rather technical, and、uh, perhaps it is not interesting to many people. But、uh, this is a、uh, very important first step to understand the behavior. The behavior of a w i l d h a r m o n i c bundle around singularity. And if you know the,、uh, the theory of variable h o m o g e n structure, this, can be,、uh, this theorem plays the role of a n i l p o t e n t of this theorem of w i l f i e l d s h o o p 
and uh, we, we have m much more things to for prolongation, but uh, I omit uh, everything. And, and then we are going to the procedural reduction. <coughs> so, <coughs> I, I mean, for given world public boundary, we would like to produce uh, a more, more easier public boundary, which is a nice subject approximation of the original public boundary. That is the procedure of reduction. I mean, by the, uh, by the process of prolongation, we obtain a, fa a family of uh, metamorphic lambda connections. And uh, they have su some nice structure called uh, stock structure and cane structures. And I, can, I cannot explain the detail here, but uh, they are a, fa a kind of family of filtrations. So, by taking the graduation with respect to the filtration, <coughs> we obtain the, the sequence of reductions of how it bundles given like this. I mean, starting from good white how it bundle, by taking the graduation with respect to the stock filtration, we obtain 10 how it bundles. And uh, by taking graduation with respect to the chemical structure, we obtain twist and important orbit. And uh, by taking the graduation, with respect to the weight filtration of the important part of the residues, we obtain a polarized variation of hot structures. And more, str and more strongly, we obtain an important orbit in the hot theory. But, so we obtain this, this reduction sequence, sequence of reductions. And uh, <coughs> there is very deep study on the, the architectural behavior of polarized variation of hot structure due to in 1980s due to uh, Kaplan Schmidt and Kashiwara Kawai. So we can say, we can understand this guy sufficiently well. Then, by going back to this sequence of approximations, we obtain, uh, we obtain significant information for given good wide harmonic balance. So in this sense, after the procedure of prolongations and reductions, we can understand the, the local property of good white heart values around the singularity sufficiently well. So by these two step, steps, uh, uh, we can understand the local property of good white heart values. And, <coughs> and then, as for global property, uh, the most important result is the characterization of semi-simplicity of middle flat values by the existence of free Hamilton metrics with nice property. Uh, let me remind you, the theorem of correct sets, a flat bundle on projecting manifold is semi-simple, I mean the type sum of reducible flat bundles, if and only if it has a pure Hamilton metric. And it is very nice uh, characterization of semi-simplicity, and uh, <coughs> we can, uh, we, we have a nice generalization of the correct theorem. Namely, <coughs> we have the correspondence of a semi-simple flat connections on smooth collective varieties and with minus one R wide harmonic bundle on projective varieties. The adjective root minus one R means the eigenvalues of the residue of the Higgs fields are purely mathematical. So this, this term gives a characterization of semi-simplicity of minimal flat bundle by the existence of free harmonic metric with nice property. And uh, as we mentioned, in the regular singular case, uh, the existence of free harmonic metric was proved by Jürgen Loft and Kanzo with a, a, with a variational method. It is very interesting work. And uh, uh, later, it was slightly refined by myself to the existence and uniqueness by considering root minus one R condition. And uh, it is difficult to generalize the method to variation method to, uh, <coughs> to, to the irregular singular case. So in the irregular, uh, in, the, in the general case, we use the method of twice hitching correspondence. Namely, we have this generalization of the result of Colette and Simpson. After the work of Picard and uh, Bolch and Simpson and Savan myself. I mean, we have the correspondence of uh, 
good for the public boundaries and uh, uh, good parabolic mirror flat boundaries and good parabolic mirror Higgs boundaries. And I don't explain the detail or precise statement of these results, but I just mention <coughs> parabolic structure is, as I mentioned, parabolic structure is a filtration by coherent OX submodules. And uh, we have to consider such, such structure to control the behavior of metrics around singularities. So this is a, a kind of uh, boundary conditions. And uh, let me mention, uh, any neural flat boundary has the chemical, uh, chemical parabolic structure. And the uh, <coughs> simplicity of neural flat boundary is equivalent to the stability of the velocity flat boundary with respect to the canonical parabolic structure. Plus, uh, this observation is due to cold stuff in the one-dimension case. And in the high-dimension case, it is due to muscles, I think. So by using, uh, by applying this theorem to velocity flat boundary with canonical parabolic structure, we can obtain the characterization of semi simplicity by the existence of pre uh, hand But uh, <coughs> I have one more remark. So in general, we cannot apply this theorem directly. I mean, general mirror flat boundary has very bad similarity called timing points. I don't explain the definition of timing points. But uh, in this theorem, uh, we, uh, we add the condition goodness. And uh, briefly, goodness means there is no such very bad, bad singularities. So to apply this theorem, we have to eliminate or resolve the bad, very bad singularities by, take, by taking the pullback by uh, some <coughs> projective virus morphisms. And the existence of such uh, projective, projective, morphism, projective virus morphisms was proved by, by myself in the algebra case and by Kiran Kedraya in a more general situation with a different method. But anyway, uh, applying these two theorems, we obtain uh, the characterization of semi-simplicity of algebraic mirror of flat boundaries uh, by the distance of pre hamlet metric with nice property. Okay, <coughs> so let me uh, mention something about uh, mixed twisted images. Uh, mixed tree study module is uh, uh, Hornet D module with mixed tree star structure, and it is studied by Claude Saba and myself. And uh, I don't say anything about the definition, anything about the definitions, but uh, I, I, I have to mention <coughs> mixed tree star structure was introduced by Harry Simpson and the generalization of mixed host structure. And uh, the definition of mixed tree star D module is given by the method of Goriko Saito, who introduced uh, <coughs> mixed host modules. Uh, mixed host module, uh, the definition of mixed host module is, or p mixed or p host module is very uh, difficult and rather genius work <coughs> by Goriko Saito. But anyway, so, <coughs> and let me mention, it will be, it, it's valuable to consider uh, additional structures on Hornet D modules. The most celebrated is the theory of Bellinson, Ehrenstein, Turin, and Gaba on power sheets with flowing suction on algebraic varieties over finite field, uh, which already appeared in the beautiful lecture by uh, Professor Go yesterday. And uh, <coughs> so it is a grand generalization of wave conjecture. And it is uh, really uh, not only beautiful, but uh, it is useful and uh, very influential in the various fields of mathematics. And Moriko Saito introduced mixed host modules, which is, very, uh, which is considered as a counterpart of the theory of the ways of initial and cover in the world of characteristic zero. And uh, <coughs> recently, the importance of the theory of Mr. Hojur has been growing. <coughs> and as I mentioned, mixed twister D module is a twister version of mixed host module. And uh, we can apply it to study a more general economic D module, possibly with irregular similarities.
And uh, <coughs> one of the main results in the theory of this suicide module is the function reality. In the pure case, we have a hard shift stream which sets polarizable pure twister D modules are functorial with respect to the push forward by polyphthic morphisms. I mean, we have a nice notion of push forward by polyphthic morphism for polarizable pure twister D modules, which is compatible with the push forward of the underlying D modules. And uh, moreover, <coughs> for any relatively line boundary on X, the morphism from here to here is used by the first chunk of L is anthropomorphic. And in the next case, we have six operations of Grotandic in the Gibraltar category of algebraic mixed twister D modules, which is compatible with uh, six operations for holic D modules. And this theorem is rather difficult. In particular, the mix uh, the, the, the hard reflex theorem for pure Pure, uh, pure mixed twister D modules or pure coach modules are quite difficult. And uh, the most essential idea is due to Moriko Saito, I think. And, uh, <coughs> but of course we need some adjustments to our twister situations. And uh, let me mention, uh, one of the key is, uh, so we have to study uh, L2 cohomology or wild hermit bounds on compact human surfaces, uh, which I will mention later. And then, <coughs> as application of the theory of white harmonic bundles, we obtain uh, the correspondence of semi-simple harmonic D modules and <coughs> minimize from our polarizable pure twister D modules on project complex project manifolds. I mean, as I mentioned, we have the natural correspondence of semi-simple algebraic melomorphic flat bundles and minimize from our wild harmonic bundles. And because uh, and any semi-simple holonic D modules are described, obtained as the minimal extension of actual middle flat bundles. Uh, <coughs> so this theorem is this theorem follows from the next theorem. I mean the correspondence of wide uh, hermit bundle and polar wide pure D modules. I mean for any given radius coordinate subset, wide hermit bundle on Z is naturally extended to polarize the wide pure twister D modules with strict support in Z. And conversely, any polarized pure twister D modules with strict support in Z is obtained as a minimal extension of wide harmonic band on Z. So by using uh, this correspond uh, this term and uh, the characterization of minimal flat band, since we have to be flat band, we obtain this term. So this is a very nice this gives a very nice characterization of semi simplicity of harmonic D modules. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> and we, we obtain uh, and the one of the most important application is the following. So let X be a complex algebra variety and uh, we consider semi simple algebra conic D modules from X. Then for any product morphism from X to some algebra algebraic one volt, uh, the push part the cohomology of the push forward are also semi simple harmonic D modules. And um, moreover, we have the decomposition theorem in the sense the cohomology of push forward is isomorphic to the direct sum of its cohomology objects. And uh, for any algebraic function on X, uh, the nearby cycle shift is uh, semi simple after we, after we take the graduation with the weight naturally induced weight fluctuations. This was conjectured by Professor Kashwara, and uh, it was an important uh, problem in the theory of conic D modules, algebraic conic D modules. And let me mention, this type of theorem was invented by Bellinson, Bellinstein, Green, and Gaba. Uh, <coughs> they proved uh, this type of claims, this type of theorems for regular conic D modules of geometric origin by using the uh, model period actions and uh, their theory of carbon things to the following actions, which appeared in the uh, excellent lecture by Professor Go yesterday. And it was generalized to <coughs> regular holonic D modules underlying polar the pure coach modules by multiple cycle. 
and the uh, red card for the generalized to segregate the regular annuity module by two methods. One is given by the uh, level to make the card and card category by the method of arithmetic geometry based on the deep level to graph four. And the other is given by Saba and myself by using the theory of 10 harmonic panels and regular PRT starting measures. And, uh, <coughs> and the catalog, the catalog and the degree of me, there is another proof of in the case of geometric origin by using the host theoretic method. And uh, in these theorems, regularity is assumed. And uh, in this theorem, we don't have to uh, assume regularity. I mean, we can consider uh, possibly irregular economic economic dimensions. So that is the progress of these theorems. OK, so, <coughs> we, are, so uh, we are now con uh, interested in application of the theory of white comic bundles to some data subjects. So one is extractive is opposite side. The original two equation is a nonlinear ordinary differential equation uh, which has been introduced as a model of mass spring system. But uh, <coughs> since then, uh, various, various versions of two equations have been studied from many viewpoints. And in this talk, we are interested in this two equation. And the second derivative in one, one the second derivative in one variable is replaced with the Russian in two variables. And uh, the thing is other slightly different changed. And uh, WI are real value functions on C star. And we use the cyclic convention. And then <coughs> uh, this cycle of the two equation appeared uh, 20, about 20 years ago. Uh, in the study of the physicist Chekotti and Wappa in the study of the TT star equation for Frobenius manifolds. Uh, <coughs> I don't explain what is the Frobenius manifold here, but uh, it, is, it naturally appears in the, in the study of singularity theory by Kyori Saito and uh, in the study of topological field theory by Dubrovin uh, and Dubrovin and Frobenius manifold. And uh, it did also appeared in the growth fitness theory by constituting money. And so, anyway, Frobenius manifold has, is playing a very important role in mathematical physics. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, we, we, we call this equation to the opposite opposite by following what we get and Chan Shao Wei. And, uh, <coughs> and Chekotti and Waha of that, if a Frobenius manifold comes from uh, Significant modeling, modeling physics, <coughs> which we keep with a natural real structure, or almost equivalently a Hamiltonian trick. And it, it should satisfy some nonlinear differential equation, which is called TT star equation. And uh, the equation is exactly the same as the equation for Hamiltonian bundles. And the Frobenius manifold is equipped with a common vector field called the Euler field. And Chekotti uh, and Waha consider the restriction of the TT star equation to a significant some special orbit of the Euler field. And they observed the two equations appear from several significant models. And uh, under natural requirement from physics, physics, uh, some special cases of the equation can be reduced to pan equation. And Chekotti and Waha, uh, based on the deep analysis on parallel 3, Chekotti and Waha mathematically verified the existence and uniqueness of desired solutions in some special cases. I mean, based on the, the intuition of physics, physics predicts the existence of uh, <coughs> the solution of TT equations, and it induces the equation of the equation in this case. But, uh, <coughs> Uh, he mathematically verified, uh, mathematically verified uh, such results uh, by using the fundamental equations. And here they also observed uh, the solution contains significant information in physics. And Chekhov and Waha uh, investigated various, various things. And one, among, among, one, uh, among them, they asked when the associated member tract boundary has an integral structure. I can't explain detail here, but uh, uh, 
we have neural flat band associated to the equation, the solution of the equations, which is very natural in relation with Frobenius manifolds. So we can, uh, it, is, uh, not, it makes sense to ask the associated neural flat band if, uh, if uh, when the associated neural flat band has integral structure, which means the local system has an integral structure compatible with the stock structure of the regular thing yet. And uh, they observed if the solution comes from physics, then uh, the main force flat band should, should have the integral structure. So the classification of such solution might be useful for physics. And uh, inspired by the work of Chekhoti and Waha, various people uh, studied <coughs> TT equations. But as far as I know, uh, Martin Guest and Chan Shaolin are the first master who systematically studies classification of the real value solution to equation and the existence of integral structures. Uh, I don't explain the, the result precisely, but uh, they classify, <coughs> classify the solutions in the case the equation can be reduced to some equation with two random functions. I mean, the, the size of the equation is small. And uh, collaborating with Alexander X, uh, they studied when the solution has uh, integral structures. And uh, the application of the theory of how it bundles, uh, we can obtain a generalization of the results. I mean, we can obtain a classification of all the ordinary value solutions of the plate to the, to the lattice and local design uh, in terms of the parabolic weights. And we also obtain <coughs> algebraic criterion for the existence of integral structure in terms of the parabolic weights. And uh, the background idea of this study for me is the quasi-string correspondence for semi-infinite variation of Hooch structures. Semi-infinite variation of Hooch structure is a generalization of Hooch structure which appears in the, in the theory of Miller symmetry and uh, some, some, something. And uh, <coughs> as I mentioned, the, work, the study of Simpson was motivated by a differential geometric construction of variation of structure. And uh, we can naturally generalize the construction of Simpson in the case of living variation of structures. So that, and, uh, that, that it gives a very nice picture to understand this, this kind of issues. And that is uh, the background idea for me, but I can't use the details here. <coughs> And anyway, the results are as follows. So, <coughs> so if we fix a real number, then we have a bijective correspondence to solution trattis, that is fine, this normalization, and uh, the element of Rn, which is decreasing, and the n is rather than even minus n, and satisfying this normalization. We have the bijective correspondence of <coughs> this data. And the correspondence is given by the constraint the, the growth order or around the growth order of the solution around zero. And to obtain this, this correspondence, uh, the key is the correspondence of solution of the equation and public matrix of some special Higgs band, which is irreducible. Then, <coughs> well, and, and this is very easy to check by direct computation. And once you obtain this correspondence, and this term follows from quasi-t correspondence for wide harmonic bounds. And as for integral structure, uh, <coughs> uh, for any uh, Q element of QN satisfying this condition, we have the solution of the equation and corresponding harmonic bounds. And uh, so we have the associated familiar flat bounds. And then, uh, <coughs> and then uh, the theorem says, it has an integral structure if and only if they exist the complex number such that n power is uh, rational and uh, the coefficients of this polynomial are uh, integers. And the proof consists of two parts. <coughs> uh, one is given by uh, the explicit uh, description of the associated middle of the bundles. Uh, this is a very interesting part for me. Uh, in general, it is uh, difficult or almost impossible to give a deep, concrete description of the family of lambda flat bundles associated to harmonic bundles. But in this case, uh, <coughs> we can do it. Uh, uh, 
we have uh, some, uh, we have limit with three substructure at zero, and uh, it is related to the transaction, so it comes from this hot structure, and by using the decomposition doing, you obtain opposite filtration. Then by using classical, classical method of symbolic cycle, and by using the same to with equation, we can determine the explicit form of this, uh, this new fat matrix. And then, <coughs> uh, we obtain, we also have, we, uh, the step two is to obtain explicit computation of the stock factors. And again, it is very uh, difficult to obtain the stock, uh, the compute uh, the stock factors for a given mirror flat bundles in general. But uh, in this case, by using the symmetry, uh, <laughs> we can compute it uh, very explicitly. And uh, sorry, perhaps uh, I have no time, but uh, <laughs> so we, also, we also have now transforms, uh, application to now transforms or instantons. So <coughs> it is, now transform is very briefly the correspondence of instantons sati uh, satisfying some uh, <coughs> symmetries. And, uh, but uh, we have to, in, uh, and, uh, but we have to impose some conditions around uh, on the behavior around similarity or insta or, or infinity for in, uh, in, in of instantons. And uh, <coughs> so there is a general procedure to obtain uh, non transforms and uh, so there is some issues to to make to make uh, this non trans to verify this non the, the naive constructions. And uh, <coughs> and uh, there is no cases. And uh, <coughs> so after the after our study of wide harmonic bundles, we can make the non transform for any wide harmonic bundles without any additional conditions. I mean there are some so some cases are closely linked with harmonic bundles and and there are some previous studies. But uh, in the previous studies some additional which is not natural for me, natural conscience uh, with some conditions are imposed which are not natural to me. <coughs> And we can remove such assumptions. And, uh, <coughs> and so in this case, we can also inverse constructions. And uh, so it's, <coughs> do I have to? So in this, uh, in this case, it is a direct consequence of the theory of mixed three And uh, in this case, we need some additional analysis for the uh, asymptotic behavior of L2 instantons of the product of L2 above and C. And, uh, <coughs> but, uh, uh, for additional analysis, the heuristics of, in the study of what I found one is very uh, useful. So which are the points to explain? And uh, sorry, so in the, so for, and uh, by using this correspondence, we can uh, obtain the classification of instant on the instant number one uh, by the classification of white hand one to rank one on torus. So it is very easy and uh, it is given like this. So, sorry, I'll stop here. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much for your question. So, any questions or comments? Okay, so you can't then let us sense again.